Why can't you use ABS for plumbing swimming pools? Well, I mean, you can do a lot of things, but it would be a pretty bad idea to do. And there's a couple of reasons why. Let's just briefly touch on them here. And the first one is, is that these are, or ABS is rated for non-pressure applications. It's for drainage only really is what ABS is for. And you can know that when you're looking at a, a 90 like this fitting, for example, because it says DWV embossed right in the plastic. I'm not sure if you're able to see that or not. Maybe we'll focus up that close. It says DWV, drainage waste vent. And that's very important and very significant. If I've seen ABS used for plumbing systems and the people who argue, oh, I've had my ABS system, it's been running for years. Yeah, I guess you just got lucky. You know, and what I would just say is that it just would not have expected longevity. And I shouldn't, sure wouldn't put, want to put my seal of certification on it because I feel like it would have an expected failure rate that would be pretty high because it's not pressure rated. Swimming pool systems have pressure. How much pressure depends on your system. Every swimming pool is unique, but the range is about zero to 30 PSI. And you might be thinking, well, that doesn't sound all that big, but if you've ever seen 20 PSI let go suddenly, it's a pretty violent you know, reaction and it's uh, a very explosive, especially if you're talking about something compressible like air versus water. You know, An air explosion at 20 PSI is something that I don't want to be anywhere around. So it is an appreciable amount of pressure and you're using something that's rate, not rated for the application. I guess one further thing I'll say on this is that the ABS material is not compatible with chlorine. PVC, which is the preferred material for plumbing swimming pools, the C stands for chlorine. It's made for the application, whereas ABS isn't. Now, it's not going to dissolve the second that chlorinated water hits it in your swimming pool. And in fact, the water in your home is probably chlorinated to a certain degree, albeit less than what a swimming pool is going to be. If you want longevity, you want to use something that's compatible. And I'm going to show you something important here. So here I have, I mean, I have a 90. I also have some extra fittings here, but it's just the 90 I wanted to show you. So one is white, one is black. That makes it easy to tell them apart, right? You have to be careful because a lot of manufacturers these days are making these non-pressure rated ones in white as well. So if you're at the store and you're just shopping, oh, it's a 90, it looks like the right thing, it's white, that must be it, right? It might not be, it might not be pressure rated. So I'm gonna give you a tip on how you can tell. Remember those two 90s, they look really similar until we start to look at, look at that glue slip length. That's the, you know, the part inside where the pipe glues inside. Look at the length of those in comparison to each other. I mean, this one's barely half the length of glue slip compared to this pressure rated PVC fitting here. So at a glance, that's something that I do all the time when people are sending me pictures of their swimming pool installation saying, hey, what do you think of this new work I got done? One of the first things I'm looking at is the length of this glue slip and making sure they're all about one and a quarter, one and three eighths inches in length. That's a common length for a glue slip for a pressure rated PVC. You know, five eighths of an inch or so is maybe a common glue slip for a non-pressure rated ABS connection. I hope you found this information helpful, and if you did, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.